Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video. Today I will be showing you another chess puzzle where white can win the game by sacrificing a queen and three more pieces to checkmate black's king. In the following position, the material is equal, but white's queen is under attack and black is threatening checkmate on two different squares with queen to h2 and h1. If white defends the checkmates with bishop to g2, black will take white's queen with an easily winning position, so white must start an attack on black's king. Because both of the files white's rook on is currently blocked, and white's knight cannot reach black's king, the only way for white to reach black's king is through the h2 to b8 diagonal, and since queen to e5 check simply allows knight take c5, white must play the brilliant move queen to f4 check. After pawn takes f4, white can recapture on f4 using his bishop with bishop takes f4 check. Now, black can throw a few pieces into the bishop's way, but since none of those squares are defended twice, white's bishop will just capture them, and the situation remains unchanged. So black chooses to retreat his king to a8. With black's king in the corner, white can sacrifice his knight with knight to b6 check in order to open up the a-file. After the forced capture pawn takes knight, white can recapture with pawn takes b6 with a discovered check on black's king, and again black has to play the forced move knight to a6. It seems that black can successfully survive the attack as rook takes a6 check is met by pawn takes a6, and after bishop to g2 check, black can block with bishop to b7. But this is all an illusion, as white can play a different rook sacrifice with rook takes c8 check. After rook takes c8, white can now force open the long diagonal with the second rook sacrifice rook takes a6 check, and after pawn takes a6 white can play bishop to g2 check. Since the a7 square is controlled by white's pawn on b6 and the b7 and b8 squares are both controlled by white's bishops, black can only play rook to c6, and white will be able to win the game with bishop takes c6 checkmate. Note that white cannot correct his mistake if rook takes a6 check was played first because after pawn takes a6, rook takes c8 check is met by king to b7. Now white has no mate because rook to c7 check is met by king takes b6 while bishop to g2 check king takes c8 pawn to b7 check is met by king to d7, and white's attack is over in both cases. If you want to see more brilliant chess checkmates be sure to like and subscribe for more, as another amazing long chess puzzle is coming this weekend. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.